Hello, hello, hello everybody, Pretzel Road here, and as for the city skyline to Sunset Harbor update, the metro is looking awfully similar to the monorail. That's thanks to their similar abilities to be elevated in the air, go just about anywhere in your city, and fill the moderate distance public transport niche. So, which one should you build? Well, that's what we'll be looking at today. Firstly, let's look at the rail costs. The surface level metro tracks will cost you $80 a cell and go up to $380 if you want to go underground. Elevated metros are more expensive, but their price is dependent on their height. Monorail tracks are $75 alone, but $40 when you upgrade a small road and $50 when you upgrade a medium one. With regards to upkeep, you'll be looking at $0.64 cents for surface level and underground metro tracks, up to 96 for elevated ones. That's the same as the monorail tracks are on an upgraded road of either type, although the cost goes up to $1.28 when it's on an independent monorail track. Next, we'll compare stations. At surface level, you'll pay a mere $10,000 for a metro station and $160 per week in upkeep. Tied in second for cheapest station are the underground metro station which is small but requires relatively even terrain, and the monorail station. They're both $240 weekly. If you shell out an additional $5,000, you can buy a monorail station on top of a medium road, saving you on space. That will also cost you $320 a week. Finally, the elevated metro station seems like an appealing option, but it will cost you $30,000 plus 480 a week in upkeep expenses. Every station uses 160 cubic meters of water and 480 kilowatts of electricity, with the notable exception of the elevated metro station. It uses 192 cubic meters of water and 560 kilowatts of electricity. Metro stations release 50 units of noise pollution, while monorail stations release a whole 80. There is another thing that we need to mention, though, and that is their hubs. The metro has a lot more hubs than the monorail. Well, the monorail is really only able to use the bus monorail hub and the train metro monorail hub. The metro has the international airport, the metropolitan airport, the bus metro hub, intercity bus metro hub, multi-platform train station, multi-platform and train station, the train metro hub, and the train metro monorail hub. So you might want to consider that when you're building uh, your lines in your city, uh, when you take a look at what you need your transportation to connect to. So all in all, the monorails seem like probably largely the best option. They're, in general, the cheapest, and they can be built over your pre-existing road networks without much hassle. Uh, they'll end up adding very little uh, to your infrastructure building costs, which is kind of a nice thing when you're trying to expand your city quickly. Uh, however, they do have one disadvantage, and that is the fact that they really can only be built in industrial or commercial or office areas. They can't be built in residential areas just because of the amount of noise pollution that they release. Meanwhile, the metros are more expensive in general. However, they do look pretty cool and they release less noise pollution. However, you do also have to take into consideration the fact that they have a lower capacity and also the fact that yeah they do get expensive fairly quickly also when you're trying to look at elevated metros to compare to the monorails the difference becomes even more extreme see the metros will cost you thirty thousand dollars a station elevated the uh, monorails are generally in line with the below and on the ground metro station costs. And 
you get a similar story with the rail costs. Uh, overall, the elevated metro is probably not a good choice unless you're only doing it for looks and or you have a lot of money. So, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a like, uh, share it with people who you think might also be interested, and subscribe to the channel so you get more videos like this. And, yeah, until next time, have a nice day.